Good morning, and welcome back to Windy Hill Kennel. This is December the 12th, and this is Brandy's Kids. <coughs> These guys are out and about today. It's too cold and windy here. We have snow coming down. We've got probably 30 mile an hour winds, and it is awful. Um, so, they're playing indoors today. They're doing really good. They are getting their first shot today. So, they get their first six-week shot today. And they're current on their worming. So, right now, everybody is on key, uh, on time, and doing really, really good. Um, they're eating dry dog food. Um, we have them almost 100% away from mom. And if... Um, so we're slowly working them up here to where we have everybody uh, with us and away from Brandy. So everything really is going right like clockwork. Uh, I know a couple of you are picking up your puppy before Christmas. So um, we're sending out your videos today or tomorrow. So if you don't have them by Friday, call me. Shoot me a text and say, hey, I didn't get my videos. You're going to get an email from me, actually two of them. One will be... Uh, talks about your puppy packet and it also you'll get an email from me that has your vitamin information in it that they've been on so you'll be getting those things in your email this week <clears throat> I'll probably send it out as a group email to everybody in your litter so hopefully if one of you gets it all of you get it but if you didn't let me know for sure that would be great so this morning I'm not sitting in there with them uh, we're going to give you their uh, collar color and their weights so hopefully you know your collar color so the first one in on my list is the neon orange puppy and it has uh, weight this week is three pounds 6.5 ounces Vanessa's on piddle duty back there uh, and I think neon orange is yep it's right over there closest to the bed it's got a hold of the fish right now uh, the other one, next one is the turquoise, or we call it turquoise, it's like a light blue collar. And that would be the blue merle over here with its butt towards us going under the bed. The next one is the royal blue collar, which is right next to him. It's got an itch on the collar. And uh, I'm sorry, the turquoise is 3 pounds, 10.5 ounces. And the uh, royal blue is 2 pounds, 11.5 ounces today. Uh, the yellow collar puppy is next, and it's right there in front of us with the rattle ball at the bed. And it's 3 pounds, 13.5 ounces. The light pink collar, oops, I'm sorry, I am backed away, I was looking at my list. The light pink collar is 2 pounds, 15 ounces. She's over here trying to get her tail. She's the black puppy on the left. And last one is the neon green collar. And he's back, it's right there in the corner. There we go, standing on the bed with perfect shot of that collar. Three pounds, 11.5 ounces as of today. So that'll give you a good idea where they stand as far as weight. Uh, they're doing really good. We just started them this week, the ones that are, we have three of them in the house with us. So today we're gonna increase that to number four. They love that. I don't know if you sound, sounds like cellophane crackling. That's that fish. You guys, these guys love crackle toys. Uh, a really cheap, inexpensive crackle toy is one if you take a tube sock and hold on one sec. All right, sorry about that. I had to sh to get two puppies to quit whining behind me. I have Whitney's puppies standing literally six inches from my backside, uh, and there's three kennels. We've got three, three, and four in a kennel, so they know what we're doing out here. We've got a blanket covering up the front of them, but they still know there's puppies out here playing, and they're not out here, so they're grumbling. Um, totally lost my train of thought when I quit that. Oh, a really good toy that's cheap is take one of your kid's tube socks and... Uh, take a water bottle, take the lid off of it, throw the water bottle away, and put the bottle down inside your sock and tie a knot on the top of the sock. It makes the best cheap crinkle toy you can get a hold of. Um, 
You can also stick um, like one of those squeaky balls in the, toe, in the toe of it before you throw the bottle in. And then throw the bottle in on top and tie a knot in it. This is that fish I can't get over top of it. He's nosy. Somebody's doing something. He wants to know what's going on. But these guys will be, um, those of you that are picking up before Christmas. Um, that's a really good shot of his face. I can't chirp. If I chirp, they'll all cry behind me. So I just have to hope he looks back up here again. There's that turquoisey collar that we, we call light blue or turquoise. Um, when you come to pick up, if you have quite a distance to come, I would um, get some type of maybe a travel crate or if you have room in your car for your crate. If you do not have a crate at all and you're looking for a crate, we do have crates here available. I also have um, carry crates like you would carry back and forth in your car to the bed or places like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we do have crates like that here also if you're in need of one and don't have one when you show up. Um, I would also, if you've got a good distance to ride home, I would put some clean newspaper in the car, a small trash bag, maybe some wet wipes. That way if the puppy has to potty, you really do not want to stop at a roadside rest, Burger King, McDonald's, any place that other people probably stop to let their dog go to the bathroom because you have too big of a chance of picking up disease from feces and urine from other dogs. So just kind of be aware of that um, because you're not going to have enough shots under your belt to be safe yet. Those of you going home before Christmas are going to have one shot under your belt. Uh, you'll have another shot after, um, after you get home. You'll have your, your second shot and even then you're not safe until you finish that fourth shot which will be about 16 weeks old uh, then you're much much safer than you are right now uh, these guys are eating dry dog food they get cottage cheese in the mornings um, they very very much like their cottage cheese and their vitamin so we do that once a day i do not feed cottage cheese in a regular bowl so these guys will get that uh, this morning. In fact, we may try and give it to them while we've got you on the video. All right. Well, we stopped for a second to have Vanessa go get Kai's cheese ready. And those little stinkers, they heard her rattling pans. They lined up over there along the edge of the fence so they could see in the groom room because they knew what she was doing. Uh, it's so funny. But uh, they get Kai's cheese once a day. We do it in a pan by itself. And for us, we also add probiotics in it here. Um, and lots of times if we are gonna do Safeguard, we'll put their Safeguard in, which is a wormer, in their cottage cheese, but uh, we're not doing that this time. They're just gonna get cottage cheese this morning. And the reason people, a lot of people ask me why I do cottage cheese. Well, cottage cheese is really good for you. I love cottage cheese. Um, it has tons of calcium, protein, fat, I do not feed them lawn fat. I feed them the fattest cottage cheese on the market, which is just plain straight cottage cheese. And um, a great place to buy it is if you're lucky enough that you live by a Gordon Food Service, which is also called GFS. They sell it by the five pound tubs. Uh, it runs about, well, it depends on milk prices at the time, but usually a case of four will cost me $30 maybe. Uh, we go through a ton of cottage cheese around here. I usually buy like four uh, cases at a time when we buy it. And so it's about 100 bucks a month around here for cottage cheese usually. But it makes such nice fat babies. It makes the mom's milk better. Uh, now they're all going to sit over here and just kind of stare at us. Are you guys congregating at the bottom? Hmm? Well, Vanessa's got cottage cheese for them. So we're going to give them some cottage cheese and let you watch them eat and they're gonna go uh they'll find it in a second they're gonna go what is everybody doing oh she says i smell something you better get in there you guys or you're gonna lose out i don't think she saw what you did stick those two over there before the other guys finish it and i know i saw where you're headed somebody piddled over there on the floor these guys haven't realized she got shoved over there and came right back out. 
All right, there they go. I know, Vanessa's going to sneak in front of us. She's got to run over there and clean up a couple of spots where they piddled. Um, I don't put cottage cheese in their food. They're more interested in what she's doing. Uh, then, because otherwise it dries in their food, they may not eat it all, then it sours, and so we feed them in a separate pan. And uh, they just, like I said, they just get it once a day. And it's something that, while they're growing, it's good to do for them if you have access to fairly inexpensive cottage cheese. Uh, yogurt is great, plain yogurt. Uh, I know Costco carries, um, I think, a three or a four pound tub of yogurt for under five dollars. It's a really good deal. But uh, anything that's got probiotics in it um, is really, really good for them. These guys are sitting here. Hmm. So, um, next week I will talk about shipping, uh, for shipping your puppy. And when you come, if you're coming to pick up before Christmas, when you come up our driveway, we have a large parking lot out back. If you go to visit our home and kennel on the left of the website and click on that link in the blue area, go to the bottom of the page, it will show you what our home looks like from the road. Uh, we have all blue metal roofs. It's a large home on the hill with a 100 foot garage attached. When you come up the driveway, pull clear around behind the house and park over by my van, which is near the tree, and it says schnoodles on the license plate. So, I hope you've enjoyed their video. They're really doing good. Uh, they're getting fat, they're getting ornery, and they're getting inquisitive about too many things right now. Uh, so, make sure you have uh, either gates or a puppy X pin at home or some place to corral these guys. If you don't want to put them in their crate during the day all the time, you can always put them in an X pin, which gives them a little more room to run and play. I see a face underneath that bed. So I hope you've enjoyed their video. Uh, this week's pictures, when I get them done, will be their last pictures until they go home. Uh, but I will put new videos on. They're just too hard to get them to sit still for pictures. So next week we'll do a video, and the following week we'll have a video. So... Have a good one, and we'll talk to you soon. Call me with any questions you have.